Okay, okay, that's it. I, I mean, there's obviously something going on here, and I really don't have the patience or energy to guess. Tell me what it is. Spill, what tricks you got up your sleeves? Not tricks, an option. A potentially dangerous option, but if it's Trina's only hope, I think it's worth pursuing. What is it? Trina needs you right now. You should focus on her. TJ and I will take care of the rest. Now you're really making me nervous. No, you can't just leave me like that. You have to tell me what's happening here. Curtis. Curtis, please, tell me. TJ uh, brought it to my attention that we could wake Oz up. Like Monko said, we're warming him up to a normothermic state, and we'll wean him off the drugs that are keeping him in an induced coma. When that finishes, he still has to come to on his own. And that could take some time, and yeah. And by that time, it might be too late for Trina. But we can speed up the process by getting him a large dose of flumazenil and naloxone to quickly reverse the effects of the drugs he's on. Once he wakes up, we can get him to give us the evidence we need to exonerate Trina. Have you guys completely lost your minds? That man was put into a coma for a reason. To forcibly wake him up would be completely denying his medical needs. No, no, no. That's the very definition of unethical. And I'm surprised you would even think about this, TJ. No, no, TJ, he, he warned me that this would be drastic. But I said we should do it anyway. Portia, you know that I'm right. If there's ever been a time for drastic measures, 